What's up everybody? My name is Ian and we're here with another part of the Tears of the Kingdom series and we are finally getting the Hateno areas map. A, because it helps me get around here a lot easier, but there's also, I heard of a Misko's treasure around a fort of a Hateno fort, but I don't know where Hateno fort is. Um, and I'm hoping that with the map, I'll be able to figure out where it is. Um, and that also reminds me, there's another piece of Misko's treasures that I never, excuse me, actually found, which was, if I can real quickly stop it for a second, was way, yeah, way back over here. I never actually grabbed this Misko treasure, so I'm hopeful that I will be able to grab that as well. Oh, wait a minute. The terminal here. What is this? Oh. Oh, uh, what is this? You've got me curious now. Those are Zonai shields. Oh, uh, I, I know what this is. You want me to go sledding. Oh yeah, baby. I can sled. A sledding one, I love it. Haha! This is my first sledding uh, challenge that we've had. There is an area that you can go sledding in, uh, like it's a race type area, but I couldn't do it for some reason. So it's real cool. I got to go do that. I like that it started from the sky too. Ah, there we go. Another shrine completed. Not quite what I was meaning to do, but I will take it. Oh yeah, baby. Another one of these. They're better than the tests of strength. I like the proven grounds more than the tests of strength that they were in the original game. These are definitely far more interesting. A lot more interesting. What the heck? Yeah, what are they gonna do about it? Throw a rock at me? No, no, no. No, no, and no. There we go. Ow! <laughs> Goodbye! Ha ha, you fool! No, 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 no. Aha, set your friend ablaze. No. Uh. Hey, wait a minute. That definitely, thank you. Uh. Okay, uh, no, uh, 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 uh. I'm panicking. Thank you. Mm. 
no. No. I'm gonna stun lock you. Uh, let's grab that real quick. There we go. You're probably one of the last ones I gotta deal with. Really? Really? There we go. Hello, my name is Nazbi. I'm a treasure hunter and follower, adventure explorer in air. Undaunted by even the coldest snow. This area is frozen solid and packed with monsters. No one in their right mind would set foot here. Except for me, of course. There surely must be treasure resting here on this mountain, where everyone else fears to tread. That's what drove me to travel all the way to Mount Lanaru. Till I saw you, I really thought I'd be the only one. You must be here for the same reasons I am. And if you are, you'll be wanting to know what I know about the treasure. Mm. Truth is, by sheer luck, I overheard a legend relating to the treasure on this mountain while I was on my way here. I knew I was a genius for assuming there was treasure on Mount Lanaru. Do you want to hear the legend too? Great, then listen up. Hi. For I am Nazbi, the treasure hunter with nothing to hide. The legend goes like this. Skim across snow from the spring high in the heavens to the mountain below. Pass through the rings of light to see the light of blessing. What do you think? Okay, I've already done this. That was the real legend of a real treasure passed down from the very mountain. You know that with a name like Light of Blessing, the treasure's got to be worth a bundle. I've already done that, bud. You found it. Spring high in the heavens was in the sky. You went through the rings of light and shine, and a shrine appeared. How do I put this delicately? Way to go. That's amazing. As a kindred spirit, I'm not upset at all that you found the mountain's treasure. I'm proud. Treasure is yours, of course. No need to split it with me. I couldn't if I wanted to, bud. Because you see, I'm Nazbi, the treasure hunter who knows that the past is in the past. I only look to the future. That said, I think I'll stick around on this mountain a while longer. Finding one legendary treasure doesn't rule out that being more, there being more to discover. Till we meet again, my kindred spirit, and risking life and limb to chase legends. Feel bad, but that's okay. And you are glowing. I figured I'd come check out the Temple of Light, since I was here. That's a, this is the Temple of Wisdom. Swordsman who offers prayers, here's my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of the Mother Goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. I would ask you to go to the, that land and bring tidings uh, to me of the Mother Goddess statue. Please, I beg of you. In the... In the vast canyon. This canyon? Are we talking about the thing that I keep ignoring over here of the uh, Temple of Time? There are the Forgotten Temple, I mean, excuse me. Is that what you're talking about? Where are you going, little bunny? Show me the way. And give me more rubies while you're there, too. There we go, we found ourselves a cave. Hopefully this is the correct cave. I'm hoping this is the Misko's treasure cave. The Walnut Mountain cave. Ooh, well, maybe, it's, it seems like it's a bigger one. It's a very big one. Let's change my weapon real quick. But. Ooh, Tulin. Ruthless. Not quite as good of a name as I am, though. My aim's a little better. Hmm. Figured there'd be something. sorts of things to get up here. 
Thank you. Can I just ignore him? I think I'll be able to. Let's go collect up some stuff real quick and then keep going. Haha, I found Misko's treasure. It was up here. I'm glad I found the right one. And what do I get for this? I have no clue what this one was supposed to be. The Barbarian Leggings. Hey, and that's the um, top that I didn't actually get either. We've got Zora here now. Hello there. I think it's you. So you have returned to look at landing, eh? We of the Zora Brigade and were sent here by order of King Sidon. Please rest assured that we are sworn to protect Lookout Landing by the honor of our king. Okay. So got anything new here at Lookout Landing? Oh. You're Goron, you should know the way to Goron City. How, how in the name of Hylia did you forget? Oh. Lay off, I'm embarrassed enough as it is. Besides, it's not that I forgot. When I left the city, there was still lava everywhere. I didn't know Death Mountain would stop erupting. The lava was, would cool and new roads would form. Mm. You don't have to tell me there was lava everywhere. It used to be so hot that Hylians couldn't step foot on the mountain without a fire resistant gear. Even if I wanted to take a trip that way, I couldn't. Mm. Well, thanks to this guy, now you can. First, we have to walk down the road toward Death Mountain, which you can see over in the northeast. Then we'll arrive at Woodland Stable, and from there we'll keep going north. Thanks again for the direction, Frodo. Happy to be of service. Using Death Mountain as a landmark is all well and good, of course, but the red haze around the summit looks worryingly like gloom. Try not to get too close. All right, let's go. On our way, we'll stop by that bistro place you keep mentioning. Now you're now you're talking. Okay, there's a bistro there. Don't go around and eat rocks. Hmm. May not be the best place for a human being to be eating, but I wanted to check to see if there's anything else new. Um, this has opened up, but do I already have the? Yeah, I have the radiant shirt. I have all of these, I think. Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and real quickly let's buy all of this because I'm going to be needing a lot of it, and all of these because I need a ton of rubies. And let's do some upgrading. Boom, there we go. Ah, what a fine afternoon. The Pura pad will prove to be absolutely essential for finding the princess, I'm sure of it. So you'll want the pad upgrade to be even more used, starting with that shine sensor. I can't do it at Lookout Landing. Not with the meager equipment we have on hand here. Pure pad reach it in. Yeah. So I have to finish her research before. He'll go over, maybe? Through him, was it? You look very pleased with yourself. Could, could it be? Uh, auto build? Oh, I forgot. Jeez, this was a while ago. I forgot, completely forgot about this. With the ability to instantly replicate things you've built and schema stones. So there really was a Zonai temple housing a mysterious powder, power down in the depths. Hmm. That may also mean the sum of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. Hmm, not that. Nope, not that either. Ah, here we go. Here, swordsman. Thank you. That like, excuse me, I think that was like one of the first ones I was supposed to get. <laughs> this is a schema stone for a balloon, right? So if you use this with Audubon, you could replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking. That balloon over there belongs to Goggles, but it's broken right now. Do you think you would be able to fix it with Auto Build? He's <laughs> so exciting. I want to see it in action pronto. I'll go prepare real quick. Okay, I should have done this a long time ago. Okay. Yes, everything is ready. <laughs> Boom. I, I can't believe it. You rebuilt the balloon in an instant. 
this, this mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. G goggles. Goggles! What are you yelling about, Joshua? Inconceivable! My balloon, it's fixed! This must be the mysterious power the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you for making this a reality. Please, take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. Thank you. I still haven't been able to figure out what that is. Really? But judging from that light, it's got to be Zonai in origin. Since you can use Zonai powers, I think it would be better for you to have it. There was an incredible power lying hidden in the depths, after all. I think I'll keep searching, researching the depths going forward. Who knows, I might just find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know, swordsman. Uh, uh, yes? Did you need something, swordsman? No way! Kolga, the leader of the Yiga clan, was there? Ooh, this is dangerous. I've got to regain my composure. Okay, come this way. I've taken out a lot of their bases already. So you face Koga in the depths. Hmm. What's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has had it out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we've looked into already, we just can't take our eyes off this threat. Besides, Koga could know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. You do go after him. Keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research of the depths from right here. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time south of Hyrule Field? There's a chasm there, and I've gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the one you showed me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere, too, and do come near when you got your auto-build ability. Okay, but they don't stop there. These statues lead farther southwest into the depths. Where they go is anyone's guess, but I bet there's a destination far beyond that building we're seeing. I'll keep gathering info about what's in the depths. Be sure to stop by and check with me sometimes. Ah, you mean all of this over here? I've already found all that. You have anything else to say? Okay. Then, oh! Are you gonna leave finally then? Really appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra thanks! That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm, should have a good think about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Hey you, listen up! Now that Josh has solved the mystery of that slate, I can return to the Purapad Laboratory in Hatano Village. If you go there, I can make even more improvements to your Purapad, starting with that sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nikluda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. Uh, on its far side is Hatano Village. Jeez! I don't know if you could hear that, but the massively loud car just went by. Go a bit farther than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. You already said that. I know where you're going. I've already been there. Ah! Doing things out of order is so annoying. But while I'm here, is there anything to say? Uh, nope, nothing else to say. All right. Well, let's get going then. I want to go find Misko's treasure. That's what I'm going after here. Which I believe... Yep, is right up there. Okay, I have the ultimate weapon ready to defeat the stone talus. Here we go! Fire! Oh no, it was ineffective! And real quickly, let's finish this off. This off as if it's a thing. Well, I guess taluses. Are taluses classified as living creatures? That is a good question, and a question that I am not qualified to answer. You failed me, little one. For your sins, little one, you shall die! Don't mess with Link. Let's get in here. 
The Crenell Hills Cave. So th what are these? Ooh, they drop luminous stones. Okay. Ooh, there's like huge chunks of these in the area. Well, I'm going to get a lot of luminous stones. They sell for a pretty penny. I don't know if I should be selling them yet. They seem to be a little more important than they were previously. Um, I don't know if that is a completely true statement or not. But that's what seems to be the case. Because they are, they seem to be in important areas. Which is what makes me say that. Ooh, this is a stone talus right in the center. Ah! The traditional talisman. Climb his butt, Link. Climb. There we go. There's a ton of stone talisman uh, in this area. Mm -hmm. mm, oh, um. Yeah, he's technically a boss. Why not? If... Oh, I don't actually do much damage. I guess because he's stone, the stone breaking items work better. But yeah, I have to mark this area as another area that we can get a boss. There's a bunch of them right in this area of Stone Talus. Um, hmm. And what to put that on? Ooh. Yeah, we'll put that this on that. There we go. Well, let's keep going then. I wasn't expecting him, so I just kind of turned it on willy-nilly. I wasn't expecting him to be there. So I guess let's keep going. There's a looks like there may be a way to continue going up this way. Which it looks like I was correct in my statement. And, ah, this is Misko's treasure. Okay. And, what do I get? The Barbarian Armor. So now I've got the Barbarian uh, top and uh, bottom. I just need the headpiece now. Um, so this was from maybe this? I don't know if it was ever really explained who these... Uh, we're from because they're from the tribe from the Faron region. From the Faron region? I guess that's, I think that's this area right in here. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if that was ever, like, actually explained in the first game. Was, I think that was one of the many mysteries of Breath of the Wild. So I hope that they maybe uh, answer some of those questions here in this game. Okay, let's see if this is finally reopened. Which, of course, it is. Hello, let's finally get some upgrades for our equipment here. Ah, what a pleasant morning. Hey, you. Your Pearl Lab Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that Pearl Pad. This will only take a moment. Finally getting a sensor. One, and a two, and a three, and a four. The sensor. Dunzo, now the sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. All right, now that I've installed that sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab to test out how it reacts? Jeez. What's this? The sensor that I installed on your pure pad is reacting to something. Right here and now. It reacts when you're moving toward a shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine down the slope in front of the lab. Is it really on that close by? There must be, because my creations are perfect, unless they get broken in some way. Now why don't you go and check down the slope in the direction? Frickin' I was already there. Sir. Yes, there's a shrine down here. I know that. 
I'm assuming you want me to go to this one here, but I've already been to this one. Right down the slope? What? Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, what? Oh, you son of a gun. There was something down here. I found your stupid shrine. Ah. Uh. Well, you found it. I expect nothing less from you. Anyway, how about that sensor? Handy, huh? I'd expect nothing less from me. Well, I've told you what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and not the other. So hang on a minute. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Just in case I forget, huh? Well, thank you, bud. Um, but I am nowhere near done yet. Created new features for that device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes for these extra features and get them on your pro pad at any time. That is, with some help from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy that sensor. A taste of great things to come. Till then. Well, since I'm here. Hey, you. you we have a lot of work to do. Your Puripad is nowhere near its full capa uh, capability yet. The Puripad will be even better after I add some new features. Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. Hallelujah, that's amazing. There's also Hero's Path Mode. It shows where you've traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more uh, than shrines. Your Puripad will be perfect once I've installed all of those. But first, I'll need you to gather some test data so that I can fine-tune my prototypes. So let's get to work on that pad. Oh my goodness, I love this. I want oh, the traveling medallion. That's going to be by far the most important one. <laughs> the travel medallion uh, feature is quite exceptional. It lets you travel instantly to a gate you've established elsewhere. But we're going to have a little bit of an extra challenge with all this. Come now, give me your pro pad for a moment. Look here, in distant Akala, up in its northeastern corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where my prototype of the travel medallion feature is. Started to work on it way back there. Well, I've already been there. I'd go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. And not anymore, bud. That's why I'd like to have you, with all your great talents, go there and fetch my travel medallion prototype. Uh... Where, uh, you're gonna give me something. Oh, you're gonna finally turn that on. Thank you. I've activated travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your own way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype and a chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Okay, well, I've already been there and cleared everybody out, so this is gonna be real quick and easy. Um, well, since we're here, why don't we just get all... So, is an outstanding invention, yes. Truth is, there's a tra uh, tracking feature installed on the PuraPad. Heroes Path mode lets you see this feature on screen. Um, it's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. Um, you'll, uh, I'll need to get data from 15 shrine locations from you. I was going to say, I've done way more than 15 shrines. What? You got the data? Hur hurry up and let me see the PuraPad. Just give me just a moment. Here's path. You can now use the map to see the path you've taken on your foot journey, foot step by footstep. You can save around 256 hours of gameplay. Do you see this amount of play data? The oldest footsteps will be erased as new ones are added. Now you'll be able to see the path you've traveled so far on your map. Okay. I want to see that. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a minute. Now you're going to have operation instructions for everything, aren't you? Okay. Um, well, let me see Let me see about the last one here. Uh, being curious about this feature, that's why it's called Sensor Plus. Uh, you select what you want from the compendium, but uh, I can't add my prototype to some extra. So you'll need uh, to fill out your compendium with at least five types of monsters. I don't have that.
Wait, do I? <laughs> I didn't think I had that many. Uh, then I can install the sensor upgrade right away. Thank you. Thank you. Give me just a moment. All right. Uh, that's, that's great. That's going to make finding things a lot easier. Thank you. So literally the only thing I need to go is go to the Kala lab, research lab. You have a compendium of your own. Uh, it's got everything you possibly want to find details about. Oh yes, it's all the creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. Uh, it's a perfect. Okay, so I can, uh, uh, I can buy any of the ones I can't get myself, which is nice because I know I've already missed a couple. <laughs> um... I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to do a completionist run. I think on this, um, but I know I've already missed some things, especially some of the bosses on those. So I know I have to buy some of those, unfortunately. Um, so I will have to buy as m a couple of these. Um, but. Um, <laughs> Ooh. yeah, I wanted to just see here. Yeah. Okay. I want to, tr I'm going to come back to this later, uh, pr probably more towards the end because I want to be able to get a picture of everything, you know? Hello there. You aren't part of that, are you? They don't have people? No, okay. Well, let's go to the Akala lab then. Oh, why don't we get a picture of a chicken while we're here? <laughs> Beautiful. I'm gonna have to start taking pictures of everything. Wait, it's you, Link. Get ready for battle. <laughs> here we go, barbarian armor for the win. Um, yeah, and we got a butt of boom. And bang, you're dead. And woo. Oh, he's up there. I was like, where on earth did he go? Aha! Too good for you. Too fast, too furious. And let's see what we got here. So, well, this chest wasn't here before. There we go. And yeah, last time we were here, that chest wasn't there. Because we were here before we were supposed to be. Hi, everybody. I just was, you know, doing some spring cleaning and I decided to renovate my house a little bit. And, you know, I figured I'd bring you guys on in, let you guys take a little bit of a tour of my house. Figured I'd go a little more high-end dresses while we're here. High-end dress wear. So here's our home. We got, Mercy's already moved in. We've got a bunch of lovely fish who have moved in as well. Don't mind them, they're just sleeping. Moving inside the house, I really wanted to keep this an open air feel to it. So we went ahead and they had this whole wall removed. We don't need it anyway. We just wanted a really big open air view. Then you're going to use your ascendability, you know, something just, you know, casually everyone has. You're going to want to walk up these stairs here so you can use your ascendability again. Not the whole way up the stairs though. It doesn't quite work if you're the whole way up the stairs. There we go. There we go. This is the main room where we can all lounge around and have some fun. Coming over here, we have our picture of our best friend, Steve. Steve here was having a quite the joyous time. I haven't seen Steve in a while, though. So I'll have to go try to find him maybe a little later. He's, he was a wonderful friend, though. Moving on, we have our weapon tree here. Our holy weapon guarded by unicorns, of course. Then uh, coming over here, I haven't quite finished out uh, flushing this out yet, but we got our shields, our lovely shields as well as our bedroom right beside the stove. So that way we can uh, just get right out of bed and have some lovely tea. Then from here, you're going to want to come over to the side and jump on over to the stairs. Here, don't, uh, please do mind the gap. And you're going to come up to the third floor. 
And again, please mind the gap. And we have over here our bows, all of my lovely little bows here. This was my favorite one right here. This is the one I take out for all the bosses. And then coming over here, we have a lovely view of the townspeople of Terrytown. I just really wanted to make sure we could have, see the people we're rolling over. And we are helping, and you know, since that is basically my town. And here we are, we have a blood moon just to kind of welcome you into the new home. So, I hope you guys like the house. Huh? Then you already have it? Good job, that would be the trick. Come on, hurry up. Let me see your pura pad. Here you go. In just a moment. And hallelujah, we have the travel medallion. This is, oh my goodness, it's going to be so nice. Um, <laughs> da 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 da. I added this to your key items so you'll never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. Then at any time, you can just zip right there by selecting that very spot on your map. Easy, right? I wonder if, what I could do if I even had more data. However, if I could add two more gates, yes, then it hit max. I could have three gates? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. So you're saying I can get... I've got the data, here! I was gonna say, I've gone a lot of places. Thank you. Ta da da da! I could, you could add one more. I need 15 map data locations. Will grow to its full potential with these extra f features. Okay, so I need to go, uh, I need to then hit, I think the last two, I think that will, last three, excuse me, I think that will give me exactly what I need to upgrade that fully, but that is an amazing ability to have, to be able to just uh, put down teleportation uh, things anywhere, that is absolutely incredible. Uh, with that, however, um, I don't really know what to do with from this point. Uh, I think I may come back here to Lurin Village and start working on this one since we've kind of been working on side quests today. Let's go ahead and keep working on side quests. Okay, I just started here. I think I'm going to do a little montage of me cutting down trees because I'm going to need a lot of them. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Oh boy, okay. Well, I figured out there was a um, limit to how many you can stack. It's exactly this many, uh, which is gonna be uh, six, 12, uh, 18, uh, 19, 20, 21. There's, you can have 21 items, and that is it. Go for it. You can have as much of that as you want. That makes 21 in our collection. Look at that. What a haul. Thanks a lot, pal. We just need 20 bundles. Well, I happen to have that as well. Hopefully I do. I think I do. Yes, I do. First thing I've got to uh, do is use those logs you collected to shore up the foundations under the buildings. So hold tight for just a bit. I'll be the foundation work and check. I'll do the foundation work and check the state of the buildings while I'm at it. I'll be back before you know it. Okay. Okie dokie, sorry for the wait. The foundations are nice and solid. Now it's time to move on to repairing the buildings. There are five buildings that need fixing. Three of them are in establishments, the inn, the restaurant, and the lucky treasure shop. And two of them are homes, the village head's house and arm army's house. The repair process will depend on the building we're working on. So I'll explain once you decide when we start. Um... Yes, establishments are probably more important um, to me. Um, very specifically, the Lucky Treasure Shop. Because I like to gamble. The Lucky Treasure Shop is over there. It's a charming spot that uh, 
Bagel's tra uh, travelers with a treasure game that rumors has it no one has ever no one ever loses. Mm. How about we head to the yes, please. <laughs> what do I need? Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. Once upon a time, a palm tree grew up through the building's second story roof. Uh, it used to be a bit of a landmark because of that, but now, well, the damage is worse than I thought. There has to be a central pillar. It's a crucial support for a building. I already used the logs you collected to shore up the foundation. Oh. Look at that house over there. What I'm thinking is uh, we'll use a log from a palm tree as the center pillar for the lucky treasure shop, too. But this building is big, so rather than collect, uh, connect the roof and floor, palm tree log would go... Uh, in the plant pot on the second floor and through the hole in the roof. Mm. It's easy enough to get a palm tree log from the palm trees growing around here. But how do we are going to get that log into the... Okay, I can do that. As long as you allow me to touch these. Yes, you are going to allow me. Beautiful. Ooh, it's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. Yes, it's perfecto. It's the biggest building in this village. So returning it to its former glory wasn't easy, but the owner is gonna love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's exactly is going on here? I was sure the monsters had done my shop in. I heard the pirates were gone and came running. I can't believe I can open up my shop again. I never thought this day would come. This place means everything to me. My old man, rest his soul, left it to me. Here, please. I have to thank you. Take this. Thanks. I picked several of them while I was hiding out. I was planning to throw them at the pirates, but there's no need for that now. Best of you, because of you, the Lucky Treasure Shop is now back in business. In fact, you don't even need rupees. You can, uh, you can be broke and still come on in and try your luck. Doors are open starting now. So it's just, it's no longer, that's not really gambling. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do and ain't doing itself. Look, you, me, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. Yes, we will. I, my good sir. Oh. Do I have to talk to you first? Uh. And let's open up this one. Thank you. Here, kid, let me see. Red. So that means you get the prize on the right. Lucky man. Ah. Must be pretty happy scoring that prize for free. If you'd uh, like it delivered to your place of residence, too bad. I don't do that. Oop, also, I'll take that rupee back. It's not for you to keep. <laughs> so that's the game. Pick a chest and win a prize. All upside. There's one catch. I have to cap how much you play or I'd go bankrupt. Wouldn't want to shut me down right after you put me back in business, would you? Don't think so. Come back later if you want another round. I think uh, I got one of the, I got a fairly good one. Not the worst, but definitely not the best. Uh, yes, I do have a roasted porgy. Uh, I see, so I can just kind of pay for it then. Oh, I got the bad one. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is the type of gambling I like. The gambling where I get all the prizes. I gotta hand it to you. You wanted all my prizes? You got them. Good on you. Just give me time to restock before you come back. Okay. Well, that is really cool. Um, let's na let's do the restaurant next. How about we relocate relocate to the rest uh, to the restaurant? Sure. I thought I thought that was more interesting. I don't know why I was got excited there. Uh. Okay, what are we doing? Hmm. 
Central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I already shored up the building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. Uh, if we place a log from uh, my palm tree through the holes in the roof and floor, like I mentioned, that should do it. Oh. Okay. So, first things first. Let's clear out the work area. Why do you have arrows on site? There we go. Beautiful. It's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar myself. All right, keep working, bud. We got ourselves a restaurant. Get a load of my handiwork. Talk about a perfect restoration job. That old building skills are still sharp as nails, baby. Now all we have to do is wait for the owner to return and... Hey, am I dreaming? Whoa, but it was all broken before. Look, Zuta, our house, it's all better too. I just came to check on my restaurant and my house. I was so worried about them. Was was it you? Did you fix them? Thank you so much. Please, I want you to have this. Why, thank you. Of all the dishes we serve at our restaurant, this is the one I'm most proud of. Please stop by anytime you're hungry. I'll treat you to meals the likes of which you've never tasted before. As of now, Azur Bay is now open for business. I'm going to assume that all of these buildings are going to be like that then, huh? Or I just have to thread a thing through it. Uh, real quickly, I do want to check out the restaurant, though. Is this the restaurant? No, that's a house. This is also part of the house. What part of this is a restaurant? Oh, okay. You, you gotta go set up. Alright. Well, why don't we go keep working, then? Let's do the inn next. The inn is over there. It's uh, known far and wide for its salt spa. They'll use herbs and whatnot to soothe travelers' sore and weary muscles. Let's move over to the inn so we can, yes. Well, I got a thread in where? So you can see the frame of the central pillar managed to hold up just fine, but if you look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Getting rid of the water won't be difficult, but the junk in there is a hazard and will make it impossible for me to do work. I don't want to damage the framing, but we're lucky it's intact, but I'm not sure how to get rid of that debris. Uh, it won't be easy, but I think we're going to have to pull it out piece and piece by it from above. Mm -hmm. Once all that junk is gone, I'll start the rebuilding work right away. Okay, can I just... What type of debris is it? Is it tree debris? Yeah. Okay, this is just going to be easiest just to rip out of here. Hey, I said no. Grab this. Let's bring it in. Shove it down there. Attach that to that. And attach. And I got, think I got one more mess in there. Nope, is that everything? I guess it is. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'm betting someone got rid of all that junk. That someone is you, by the way. Just leave the rest of me. I'm on it. The oh. inn, restored to its former glory. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. The owner can move back in any old time. Oh. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? I thought the pirates destroyed by a place. But here it is, good as new. Oh. You two rebuilt it, didn't you? I was hiding out in the Gerudo region in the southwest. But it's just sand as far as the eye can see. I missed the ocean so much, I had to come back. Then I found this. I can't believe my inn is all fixed up. I'm stunned. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. I really must uh, give you a thank you gift. Thank you. <laughs> I brought this back as a little treat for everyone. Please come by and enjoy our famous salt spa. No time to waste. The inn is open for business as of today. Okay, when well, we got the two resident homes then. Um, real quickly. Uh, 
Oh, something about Princess Zelda there. I should have read it. Oh well, whatever. It's all done. From here on out, I have a comfy place to sleep at night. Oh, I thought I heard the sound of a hammering coming from the house. It's exactly how it was before. Luckily, the house's main building went on damage, but the detached hut where Bolson is staying was destroyed. I was so worried about finding a place for him to sleep, but not anymore. Sorry if you, if you had to go to the trouble of fixing up your house. Uh, up our house, excuse me. Here, I'd like to give you something for the repairs. Thank you. This is the tastiest fish you can catch around here. Grill it, stew it, whatever you like. It's always delicious. There was a pi uh, picture from Princess Zelda on display in the detached hut. Quick, let's make sure it's not damaged. So is that really the whole reason why we had this? Was there was a picture of Zelda? That is not a picture of Zelda. No matter how much debris I dug through, I couldn't find the precious painting. Honestly, I, all, I lost hope it would ever be recovered. But Bolson told me that thanks to you it was, and in perfect condition. Moving rumble, build a, rubble, building houses, is there anything you can't do? You know, I'm set to, the, uh, to be the head of this village one day. When that happens, I can only hope I'm as good at solving problems as you. Well, I've already been here. There wasn't anything there. Alright. Anyway, last one. Uh, I recall Armies uh, said he wanted a spot outside to display his biggest catches. I don't really... Okay, yes, please. And... Aha! Behold! What you see before you is the work of a true craftsman. Oh ho, my house is fixed. You really fixed it. Thank you. I can finally get back to making a living. I'm really sorry I wasn't any help. Please take this as a kind of apology. Why, thanks. Now I can go fishing again. You know, I don't need very many fish to feed myself. So I shared the extras I catch with other folks. <laughs> Usually save them for the people here in the village, but I really owe you for fixing my house. If I have any extras to share, I'll put them in front of my house. Please, take whatever you need. Bolson, is it true? You bet it is. Every last building in the village is good as new. Incredible. How can I ever thank you? And to think, you restored the village so quickly. A feast is most certainly in order tonight. Did you hear that? A feast. He said, a feast is in order. Oh dear, you think I should change my outfit? The day the pirates attacked and overran the village, I was desperate to get everyone to safety. Before I knew it, our beloved home was gone. After everyone fled, the only sound coming from Learn Village was the sound of monsters. I never thought, never dared dreamed, I'd live to see the day we could all laugh together again like this. This moment right now, it's all thanks to you. Of course, I am extremely grateful to Bolson as well. No, no. There is no need to thank me. After all, when I first drifted into this village, you all welcomed me with open arms, didn't you? The work I did here is just my way of paying you back. Bolson, thank you. This village owes you a debt. In fact, I think it's safe to say that you are this village's savior. Now, talk about this with the rest of the folks around here. We do not have enough money or treasure to repay you for saving our home. But the treasure we do have, well, it's this village and everyone in it. So from now on, we'll do everything we can to share our hospitality with you. Aye. For the village savior, I'll promise a bed for, fr uh, for free anytime. Uh. You are also welcome to eat at the restaurant as much as you like, free of charge, of course. The village savior may not need to test his luck, but I'm sure it'd be fun to play a treasure chest game once in a while. Oh, your prizes are pretty good, dude. Please feel free to take anything you find in this village. Oh, I'm awash in emotions. I, I can't hold back anymore. Zuta, Kinov. Look lively. It's time for the... Learn Revival did a dance!
Okay, that is Learn Village Restoration Project done. And with that, everybody, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure it really would help the channel out, help the channel, channel grow. I can't wait to see you guys all next time. See ya!